Hello and day two. It is day two and we are heading or very close now to Stoke on Trent where we are put the camera up there heading to Stoke on Trent where we are going to see what Stoke offers. Liverpool last night was all right good little end in the end so Stoke now I have worked Stoke before and Stoke is a place where you get lots and lots and lots of very small fares as well Stoke has got reservations now Liverpool and Manchester the reservations aren't really on anymore which means that people can book an Uber in advance reservations so it's, when they come up it'll say between five and seven pounds four and six pounds you know the, the reservation gives you like an approximate sort of fair how, of how much it's gonna be but all the reservations I've seen have all been very low very low quality work so um, I might take one of them tonight I may miss one of them tonight um, hopefully the rain will keep off bit overcast it is July it's quite warm outside 24 Celsius at the minute so um, we'll see what develops in Stoke tonight Stoke is a place which surprisingly is extremely hilly now if we get a chance and if it's not too dark we'll just the roads will do that a little bit it is a very very hilly place but we'll see where we end up because in Stoke I have well last time we were at Stoke I ended up in Birmingham I was all right I was I was all right so we see see where we go tonight I don't think in Stoke there's a bus strike but there could be well we'll find out when we when we start driving around the place see whether there's a bus strike or not in uh, in Stoke there may be I haven't seen much of Reaver in Stoke so last time I was there so maybe maybe not we'll see we'll see what happens it could be busy it could be absolutely dead so well that's the chance you take so day two we are in we're currently in keel services uh, on the m6 because so we're going to go into stoke from the south end as well like south end of stoke so we're, we're going to sort of uh see how where we go from there and see where we end up last time i was in stoke and every time i've worked stoke in the past the roads have always been pretty good i haven't been in in lots of traffic so let's hope that's the case again today right because as if you watched it yesterday i've got no room on this camera there's no remote control easy for me to say quick slurp of the old uh, juice there we go not sponsored by greg's well not yet anyway that could be in the future right i'll show you a little bit of a little bit of where i am there's the services there ah, we go that's the services where i am right now just everyone's just sitting around doing nothing um just wait just on their their travelers on their weary travels so we'll see where we end up in Stoke. Right, I'll check back when we've when we've got a few jobs under our belt and when darkness is prevailing. It's 5.30, it's the 2nd of August and it is day two of five nights, five cities. And running on this very cloudy, dark, early evening in the Potteries down in Stoke-on-Trent. We're currently on the A500 heading into Stoke itself I'm looking on the uber map and um, and we got a bit of surge going on I can see a little surge around Ashton St around Stoke City city centre area which is uh, Hanley and also a little bit of surge around Ash uh, Newcastle on the line not Ashton on the line <laughs> that's Manchester uh, a little bit of surge around at uh, Newcastle on the line so we'll see how it goes now don't be surprised down here if you're an uber driver and you're coming to work down in Stoke don't be surprised if like a lot of your jobs are under a tenner because it is hard to get a job over £10 here it, it, it's no system every time I've worked Stoke a few times and every time I'm down here it always seems a little bit harder to get a job on over 10 quid you do now and again but the majority of your jobs are like five at four three six five you know it's all that all, all under a tenner it reminds me a little bit of when i used to work in southport now southport is a small town up on the uh, you know the northwest coast and a local company I worked for there, like the 
90% of their jobs were all really sort of low quality um, under a tenner sort of stuff you know lots of, and Stoke reminds me of that nobody goes too far but they all you know nothing's nothing's major nothing's major and tonight I could be wrong tonight I could be completely wrong and I could end up with with a right old wedge but I got a feeling I ain't I think I'll get plenty of jobs but I think the majority of the jobs are going to be under ten pounds but we'll wait and see right next time I'll speak to you it's gonna be dark Jesus don't slam the door God almighty Jeez, why people why do you have to slam the door when they shut it right uh, we're a few hours on we are in Stoke still uh, let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look at you yeah uh, it's um, it's not as good as Liverpool it's not as good as Liverpool it is not as good as Liverpool right it's a smaller city I've done some I've done some decent well, a little bit of decent stuff uh, I got to pick up before from Alton Towers which is very very nice Alton Towers is very nice uh, that was um, £10 the local company were asking for £32 from Alton Towers to you toxic station it's not that far away really i we i i my percentage was 10 pound 80 so you know add a bit more of that for the customer to pay but the local cab company he was wanting 32 pounds to go from alton towers to you station they waited for me they waited for me for 15 minutes as well so you know saving money name of the game um, so let's have a look at what we've done so far a few hours in now it's cracking on it didn't do the well it's not that bad it's before midnight anyway so um, but we're gonna plow on we're gonna plow on a little bit longer right um, so so far I've done 11 trips which is not too bad is it really 11 trips uh, we've done about 90 we don't we've done 90 quid I think. Um, so I've had, I've had a couple I've had a couple of, of alright ones um, so far here in Stoke, I've had a couple of tips as well. So yeah, they, they tipped on the app, and you can tip on Uber now during the trip as well. So in you know during the trip, they can pew, give you a little bit of a tip. So I've had yeah, I've had, I've had a couple of decent ones. I've had a couple of seven pounds, six pounds, five pounds. Uh, I've had an eighteen pound one, which went down to uh, Utoxit away as well. Um, and again, then you got that big bulk of. Uh, I got that a big. I got a job to uh, the, the Stoke Station, and then from from Stoke Station, uh, I got inundated with requests: three pound, two pound eighty, three pound. By bang, 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 like one after each other. Literally, so people must have been getting off this train and going literally a stone's throw from the station. You know, was, but lots. Of, I've had seven or eight jobs uh, coming at me before. Um, what is a quite a busy area around here uh, as is Warrington is is the warehouses There's quite a few warehouses here like Warrington's got Omega uh, which is like land of the warehouse and down here they've got um, a Warehouse uh, three four warehouses together as well, which is just off the a 500 which is uh, is, is quite busy I need my hair cutting I need my hair cutting my hair's horrible. I hit my hair lately. My hair's horrible. I need to, it needs doing it like it's horrible. It's 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 thinning on top as well, I see. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm not saying I'm here, cut soon. Right, uh, so, yeah, so we'll crack on. We will crack on and we will venture uh, more into the night here in Stoke. I've done Stoke before, as I should say. Stoke's alright, but to make a, make a good wedge in Stoke, I think you have to do like a, a really long shift here. Like come out early in the morning and work through till the evening time because it's it's alright. It's Stoke's alright. It's alright. You've got a, a local company here called uh, Lucky Seven, and I think they, they do the bulk of the work. But Uber Uber's quite popular here. What they do do as well is, as, as I said earlier on, just before, I said they do the, um, the reservations, and no other city really does reservations now, but here do. Um, but the reservations I seen today, I didn't take any of them because like four pound jobs. One was fifteen minutes away for four quid. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Right, uh, we'll crack on. So, uh, there's the road again. While I switch off the back, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. See, they never banged the door. They were all right. People banging doors get to my wick. 
Uh, right then, let us pull out on into Stoke now. Got midnight now. The roads have suddenly gone extremely quiet, and we've also gone extremely quiet. Um, did a bit of surge before, but this <laughs> did a surge job right about 20 minutes ago, and it was five quid on a surge. Jesus, five quid on a surge. So uh, yeah, very good. But yeah, Stoke's one of them areas. It's just ugh, it doesn't eh, because Stoke's just a series of little towns. No one really ventures outside the vicinity of like the little towns which make up Stoke. Like the furthest people go is like Newcastle on the line, which is literally like a stone's throw away. From New from uh, Stoke, so everyone sort of stays within that within that area within the, you know within the sort of uh, the vicinity of of the little towns which make up Stoke, you know like Hanley capital, and then you got Fenton and Longton, you know, and, and all those little areas just outside. But it's been all right. It's been all right. It, it has been all right, really. You know, it's. It's been all right. Oh, guess what? I was going to go left there onto uh, onto the A uh, of 500, was it? And I can't because the motorway is like, every night, every night without fail, we have blockages on the mo on the motorways on on the on the major roads. So I was going to go down there, and I can't. Well, was I M6? Yeah, I was going to go that way. But no, we're going to crack on, and we're going to go somewhere else instead. We're going to go. We're gonna go this way instead. Yeah, so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go this way and this way instead. So yeah. Uh more diversions. M6 again looks like it's gonna be shut down again tonight. Like every night. Oh what if 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 someone knows on most motorways what they're doing of a night, please let me know. Because I would love to know what they're doing late at night on these motorways because they all seem to get shut down of a night and I don't see any difference on the roads unless they're doing like underground work somewhere which we can't see what closes and it's most motorways of a night time to get shut on I know the M57 is getting resurfaced uh, up in Liverpool so I know that but all the others like they seem to get shut down and I don't know what's going on with them I really don't Right, uh, we'll crack, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll check back on my, well, I'm going to get some, I'm starving, I'm hungry, so I'm going to try and get some food somewhere, uh, if I can, I fancy a hot meal, a little hot meal, because all I've had today is, you know, when you're on the road, what you tend to eat is sandwiches a lot, sandwiches, and, and I'm trying to avoid McDonald's, because I'm back in the gym, so I'm trying to avoid, for the, for the umpteenth time, I'm trying to avoid McDonald's, and all that sort of shenanigan so I'm trying to eat a little bit healthy so I'm gonna try and find uh, like a little like place to eat hot food but not Mackey's because I'm trying to be healthy right we'll see you when I get some more food well that was a bit of a waste of time I went into sandbag services looking for to get some hot food and uh, no 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 everything's shut they got a little shop there selling Costa Coffee and like very expensive cold food and very expensive sandwiches, but they did not have, they did not have a hot meal. Now, it's a road chef that. I thought road chef were open 24 hours a day. They used to be years ago, years ago, right. Back in the old days, most of these services had food on all night, they did. Because people track up at the end, this is the M6 I'm on now. People schlep up this all night long from Carlisle down to south of Birmingham. So you'd think they'd have, um, you know, seven hot food. These lorry drivers are out here all night too. They want a hot meal, especially the ones who are over on nights. But no, 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 no hot food. And I don't want a McDonald's because the nutrition value in that is virtually zero. Right, I'm done 
for the day because Sam Max on the M6 heading back up now towards Manchester so what have we done what have we done today well I'll tell you I will tell you okay not as good as Liverpool not as good as Liverpool I have done 145 quid roughly the same hours as Liverpool slightly longer here I would say but 145 quid not as good not disastrous but not as good um, the all important way bill which as you know is the first structure so down here down in Stoke you're looking at um, you're looking at one pound 12 base 75p a mile and 14 pence a minute waiting time mm, make of that make of that how you will so yeah so yeah ain't brill ain't brill it did surge a bit down there today but the surges were only little surges tiny surges you know not major but stoke if you're an uber driver and you're going to work in stoke just you know go go there for a good 10 hours to make it you know the roads are not bad actually the roads aren't cloggy really bad but dead easy to get around you know which is good but um yeah and the people are lovely people are all really nice in stoke got a, got a, a few tips down there today too so yeah it's, it's just like you've got to do a full hit if you want to make good though you've got to really give it a full hit down there the say you in, in liverpool and manchester you can you can get some big jobs there uh but in especially manchester but in in stoke not really quick question for the uber drivers who are watching this if you're watching on the facebook pages uh quick question to you before you accept a job do you check the rider's rating and if the rating is low do you not take the job that's it you know if the ratings low do you do you like judge your so just say the job was like 80 quid but the rating was 4.2 or 4.1 would you still take that job yeah do ratings matter do you look at the rider rating before you accept the job i tend not to i just pick well whatever i can pick up pick along some riders you think i don't want you again and others you think yeah they're really nice like a woman a few days ago who spilt gravy all on my back seats she had food in this bag this big black bag full of food and uh and i asked her to put it in the boots oh no no be fine be fine and she put it on the seat next to her she got out there was a pool of gravy on the back seat of the car not good not good um so yeah and she got she got the one star that's it for this one uh thank you for watching thank you for being on the journey with me it is day two of five tomorrow day three of five nights and five cities we are going to be in derby tomorrow off to derby to work there hopefully can we beat 145 on the uh, on the cash tomorrow in derby uh, or will it be will it be not good so derby brings into nottingham because they're only five miles apart so we'll bring in the both cities so that should be you know hopefully that should be lucrative for what's wednesday tomorrow when generally wednesday wednesday is generally one of the quietest days of the week unless you're in a city which has got Premier League football or Champions League football without that on a Wednesday it is pretty quiet so have a good night upload will, will be up soon on your computer on your on your what uh, YouTube on the YouTube channel or watching us on Facebook have a good one see you in Derby